Hi everybody, well, it uh, has been a while that I have made a video about uh, some books that I've read or something that, uh, some ideas that uh, inspired me or were useful to me. So, I, I was reading uh, recently this book, uh, Essentialism. <laughs> uh, I really like the, the book, the ideas that were shared in the book because uh, people like uh, Steve Jobs, uh, basically uh, Bill Gates, uh, Warren Buffett and all these big uh, personalities in the world were really uh, interested in making things simpler, as simplest as possible because when you uh, do only the most important things like uh, for example if you learn languages uh, what's the most important thing uh, in language learning what's the uh, that's the question you have to ask yourself what's the most important thing for you what's what's the most valuable thing for you what's the thing that you are doing that is giving you the most productivity related to the time you invest in it and so for me uh, for language learning is uh, listening for me because uh, the more I listen, the more I, I actually learn the language, right? For me it's not grammar, maybe for you it's grammar, the thing that gives you the most. So, uh, it's a book that I really suggest because based on the concept that we can't do everything, there must be some trade-offs, what does that mean? For example, when I was in a high school, uh, the last year I started to create my things online and uh, these kind of things and I had to decide it wasn't a process that I made consciously but I had to decide and I actually did it without knowing it I decided instead of going out every Saturday Saturday evening uh, Friday evening with friends uh, there was a trade-off some of these Saturdays basically with time passing more and more were uh, spent uh, doing other things like uh, either reading, either um, learning new things, learning languages, either uh, creating something useful for people online uh, and these kind of things, no? So these are the trade-offs. So reading it I was really, uh, yeah, that's really true because we can't do everything, uh, especially because if we do everything there will not be much progress in one direction, uh, one direction, like the group. <laughs> Anyway, you can see it from these, these pictures, right? Uh, this is the person doing many things, like many of my friends, and like I used to, uh, till I was 16 or 17. You, you do uh, many things, so uh, the progress is really small in many, many directions, right? This is the person that decides, I'm gonna be good at this thing, maybe sport, maybe it's languages, maybe it's uh, reading books, uh, or maybe it's... Uh, writing, I don't know, uh, but you choose one thing, it can be riding horses or singing, I don't know, but the progress is much, much bigger, quicker, because you're not spreading your energy on too many things, right? And uh, this is really the best, I think, uh, representation that I found in the book till now, and uh, it is really that if you focus on one thing, or few, really few things, but better one, the progress will be faster, quicker, better, bigger and uh, the, you know what, uh, the thing is that progress is really the best motivation so what happens, uh, the more progress you make, the more motivated you are and the more you go on, you, go on, you keep going and uh, it is a success cycle, right? so I'm really trying, my life is already focused but the more I read, the more I talk to people, the more I study others, the more, the more I understand that I can focus it so much more and narrow it, uh, narrow my energy really on, on few things. So I'm working on that. I just moved in a new office, little office. So I'm trying to make it like as simple as possible with the basic things fundamentals like Steve Jobs to have space to think really. Uh, I hope that this concept, this concept was useful to you. Really it was a, a quick, uh, I'd like to give you in the future quick ideas like always, like quick something you can think about and maybe apply. Uh, are you doing um, too many things in your life and uh, not seeing much progress? Maybe this is the problem. Are you spreading your energy into too many things? Uh, you have to say no to, to, to something, to many things actually, to really improve a lot in the areas uh, that you want. Like for me now, is 
I'm changing my body and learning the languages and reading and uh, doing these things. Maybe it's too much. I'm trying to really narrow it down uh, to make faster progress because without progress, the motivation really is... Uh, progress is the biggest motivation. That's so true. So yeah, I'm trying to narrow it down even more and uh, yeah, I suggest you do the same on the things you like and you want to do in your life. So if you are trying to get healthy and uh, get a great body or whatever and you, um, some friends of you ask you, do you want to go out uh, every week and you go out every week? That's probably not the best decision, okay? Uh, that's the concept. There must be some trade-offs. Maybe you have to either change friends or either uh, mm, find friends that eat healthy because we have a limited uh, decision power it's called we ha it's limited so the more you avoid these things the better it is like uh, 10 minutes ago uh, i was here in, uh, in the business and uh, some, my, my brother and another friend asked me if i wanted to go out to eat lunch with them i know that when i go out with them i don't eat uh, as healthy as i want because I have a limited decision power. If I see something that I like every day, my brain is gonna tell me, oh, come on, you can eat it. And that's normal. That, I mean, that's, I, I find myself weak. I thought, I thought I was weak, but actually it's the decision power we have that is limited, okay? So even if I have a big why, whatever, doing it every day, you can't keep on uh, resisting, right? So we have to make really the decisions to make it simpler, easier, for us to make the right choices. So yeah, have a great day, a great 2015 and talk to you soon, bye bye.